All right, Harrison and Jason coming to you from Three Generation Racing. Uh, at our lovely friend Mike's uh, facility over here. Thank you to Mike. Um, so we installed our Transdap adapter plate. Um, this was an earlier motor, so we had to drill and tap this boss here. Um, they give you a, a locating um, bolt there, and I wanted to be able to bolt this on all the way around the top of the block and not just here, here, and here, and give us a little added support. So uh, on the 85 block, it was already there for us. On this block, we had to drill it and tap it. I believe this is out of a 72 <clears throat> Impala wagon, 400. So that's what I think it's out of. Uh, my father would know better. So our trans -dap adapter plate is installed. We're gonna go about installing our TCI SFI approved flywheel. And we have our select performance um, torque converter, uh, 4,000 to 4,200 stall, trans brake ready. And we're gonna install this in the Turbo 400. And we are gonna prime this converter with ATF automatic transmission fluid, which is fully synthetic. And this is gonna take a little bit of time to work its way down through all the working parts down in there. So we'll just keep letting it bubble up and keep filling it up until it's full. And then probably someone is gonna pour out when we uh, want to install it in our transmission. Ooh, it's bubbling. Now this is anti-seize lubricant. Some people use Molly Lube, I like Molly Lube. I think this stuff will work just as good. I don't expect it to ever seize inside the crankshaft, but it's good for, um, you know, making sure it goes in there happy. And it's also good for torquing things down because it helps the threads on the bolt slide onto the threads in the crank and uh, give you a more accurate torque reading. Yeah, Probably a good idea before we install this to uh, bolt the headers on <clears throat> and uh, make sure our header tubes clear the angle plugs. And I held them up on there and they looked like they would. ARP flywheel bolts. Could be a little bit of a pain in the butt because um, it's a 12 point bolt. Sometimes you gotta search around for a 12 point socket. Okay, that's 70, they're calling for 85. So I'm gonna go, we had, there's 80, one, two, three, four, five.
tree. Wow, that flywheel is really close to the to the plate. I want to pull this plate in on the bottom to make sure it's not hitting anywhere. Really is close. Too close for my comfort. I don't know if I like that. All right, we're all made it up. A couple things I'm not exactly thrilled with. I'm gonna have to do something with that. Can't be stacking up all those washers. I mean, you can, but not in my book. Um, bolt went through the plate and onto the block side and ran into the block. So I'm gonna need a shorter bolt or we would need to take this all apart and clearance the inside of the block for the bolt to pass through. Uh, right now, I just want to get this thing in and start working on some mounts. I can run a shorter bolt at some point. Um, I mean, if it goes all the way through, whatever goes through is wasted anyway. So we're all made it up. And I went after the chassis and cleaned up where I know I'm going to be welding. So uh, probably going to have to build off the back side of this chassis and gusset it up from the back because this mount is going to hang all the way over. Uh, that I already know. Um, clearance our transmission tunnel a little bit. Um, you know, being that we're running this adapter plate, uh, put those top bell housing bolts really close to the tunnel. Um, the issues that we had before with the front of the engine being too high and having to shim the back of the transmission up to get the proper drive shaft angle uh, made that problem worse. So uh, hopefully... This will be a lot better once we get the new mounts and the engine sitting lower in the engine bay. So we'll check back in.